Hello, I'm Denise Medina, estate planning and probate litigation attorney with Fawstone and Grisco PLC in Northville, Michigan. By now, you may have watched many of my recent videos covering general estate planning and probate litigation topics. Today, we will be adding to that series with this complete guide on the different types of deeds in Michigan. Let's start with a quick claim deed. This type of deed transfers whatever title or interest the grantor has in the property to the grantor without any warrant of title whatsoever. A quick claim deed has no warranties or protections, meaning the buyer assumes the seller's purported interest in the property at their own risk and expense. For this reason, quick claim deeds are typically used for transactions where the parties know each other. The familiarity and level of trust reduce the risk of the grantee receiving the property from unforeseen claims. Most often, these quick claim deeds are also used in circumstances where little or no money is exchanged. Covenant deeds provide a limited warranty of title. These types of deeds only convey a warranty for the time that the grantor actually owned the property. Under a covenant deed, the grantor's sole warranty is that they did not cause any title issues during their ownership of the property. No warranties are made regarding what may have occurred prior to the grantor acquiring title. Moving on to warranty deeds. These are a little different than the rest. In most property transfers in Michigan, the seller conveys a warranty deed to the buyer, which includes the following six covenants. The covenant of Sayason, grantor guarantees they have legal title and possession of the property. Covenant of right to convey, grantor guarantees they have the legal ability to convey the property to the grantee. Covenant against encumbrances, grantor guarantees that the property is not encumbered by any liens or mortgages other than those specifically mentioned in the deed. Covenant for quiet enjoyment. Grantor guarantees they are transferring valid title and possession that the grantee has a right to defend against. Covenant for further assurances. Grantor guarantees they will defend the grantee's title against any claims of superior title from others that arise in the future. A labor deed is not used for a sale. It's part of your estate plan. Owners transfer the land to beneficiaries, normally children or other family members, and reserve certain rights for themselves. For example, they retain a life estate in the property. By doing so, owners retain the right to occupy the land for their lifetime. This includes the right to cancel the transfer by selling the land to someone else first. This gives an owner the option to move or sell the house while they are alive, but if they die while owning the land, the beneficiaries can receive it and avoid probate court. As you can see, not all deeds are created equal. That's why it's imperative to work with an experienced attorney when drafting your estate plan. If you have questions about this video or want to discuss your estate plan, contact me here at Fawstone and Grisco PLC. Once again, my name is Denise Medina. I'm an estate planning and probate litigation attorney. You can contact me by phone at 248-912-3220 or by email at dmedina at thefgfirm.law. Thanks for watching.